Hey, it's Matt from Worship Bass Tutorials. Today we're gonna look at my pedal board and we're gonna talk about why I use all the pedals that I have. All right guys, so this is my pretty simple setup. First thing I do is go into a tuner. Out of the tuner, I go into my sans amp and this is kind of where the bread and butter of my tone is. 90% um, of my tone is made up here. See, without it, um, you get this really clean P bass sound. Kind of a nice vintage tone that you kind of we've all come to love out of a P bass. Um, if I engage this guy here, it's going to level out my, my tone a little bit, meaning I'm going to bump my lows a little bit. I'm going to cut the mids a hair and I'm going to increase my treble just a hair. So I, what I want basically out of this is a little bit more clarity. So what I get is this now. So as opposed to without it. You kind of get a lot of that boxy low mid sound coming out and I don't really like that. I want to give it a little bit more body, a little bit more clarity. Cool, and then what I basically have, the only other setting I go to is I go to my, my third programmable spot, which is the same setting, but with quite a bit more drive. So if you hear it. Cool, and then after that sans amp, I go into my morning glory. Whatever pedal is in this position, it doesn't have to be the Morning Glory, it's just something I use to give it a lot more grit. Um, it can be the Micro Synth, it can be any other drive pedal you want. Um, even though Micro Synth's not a drive, but it, you get the idea. It gives you just more grit. Um, the only reason I don't love the JHS Morning Glory here is it does cut a bit of your low end. So for instance, if you hear, and then engaged. So you get a lot of that drive, but you do end up uh, losing a bit of low end. The last pedal in my chain is a MXR bass compressor. Um, I have the attack, release, and output all at pretty much, um, pretty much 12 o'clock, and then I adjust my input to where I get around about five decibels of gain reduction every time I hit the note. So, so it's consistently, really lightly compressing my signal. Um, the output, I play with the output just until the signal going out is the same as it was going in so that when I turn my compressor on and off, it doesn't actually affect my overall volume. One thing to note is that I do run my compressor after my drive. Um, I want my overall signal in the end to be really nice and very level. I want the front of house guys to turn me up and to keep me up because I don't want to blow them out of the water when I turn on certain pedals. I want to be really consistent. Um, and you'll actually notice that I get the same amount of gain reduction whether or not my drive is engaged, so check it out. And with it engaged. So it, it does sound a little bit louder. There is a little bit more of this perceived volume because the frequencies they're going to be cutting through now are a little bit higher on the spectrum. Um, but the front of the house guys can have an easier time dealing with that with EQs and things like that um, versus all of this crazy low end that changes all the time um, by not having a compressor. All right, guys, that's my humble setup. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments and also let me know if there's any pedals you want me to try out and I can review them for you guys and see what I think.